Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edward Dakwesi Kobia and you can find me on Bystander PS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Easter Church Program Flyer in Photoshop. Without wasting much time, let's get started. So right, we begin by creating a new document. So click on File and then now make sure your unit is set to Pixels width is set to 626 height 626 your resolution should be set to 300 pixels per inch now let's go ahead and click on create we have a new document created and we need to create a new background or set a new background for our flyer let's go ahead and select our sample image folder and click and drag the church building all over to our new document let's transform this and make it a better one and move it all the way up here and hit enter we need to add some few things to the background to make it look much better than we are having now let's go ahead and click on adjustment layer and select gradient map now click on the gradient make sure you select violet orange now we have violet to be okay but the orange is not okay for us so double click on this and now let's move it all the way up to violet again or somewhere closer to the blue color hit ok ok and hide this panel now let's go ahead and click on adjustment layer icon again and this time around make sure you select gradient click on the gradient and make sure you set your preset to foreground to transparent now double click on this side and set your color to blue and hit ok hit ok again now with the gradient fill make sure you set your style to radial now as we click on radial we have it to be at the center which we don't want it that way we want it to be at the edges of our flyer so let's go ahead and click on reverse and we now have it there so let's increase the scale a bit to let's say 122 and now let's move the gradient up a bit go ahead and click on ok if you still want to make changes or if you still want to move your gradient around then double click on this gradient icon and now you can make changes to it so go ahead and click on ok now we have our background being created if you want to also control this gradient too you can come back double click and now you can change some things a little bit and hit OK. Now let's add something more to the background. So let's go ahead to our sample image folder. Let's click and drag the cloud to our document. So now let's move the cloud layer up. We have our clouds to be few. So we need to duplicate the cloud layer multiple times to get that. Now how do we duplicate? this layer you can first do that by clicking and dragging it to the new layer icon and you have a copy of the cloud the second way is to hit ctrl or command j to duplicate it and now the third option is by selecting your move tool press and hold alt or option key and as you press and hold you can see that you have two different arrows one being white and one being black this means that when you left click and drag you can duplicate your layer or cloud so now let's repeat this couple of times to have a better cloud effect okay so now let's do this quickly okay so hit ctrl command t and then you can also rotate this one all right and then you can decrease the size of it now let's hit enter now we have a better feel of the background we have to now bring in the host which could be your pasta or whatever so we have this man over here which we are going to use to represent your host or the pasta so click and drag this to this one and then i've already removed the background so there is no need to go back again so with your host layer selected right click on it and 
convert it to smart object hit ctrl command t to transform and make sure you press and hold your alt key to transform at center so now let's zoom in with your zoom tool you can zoom in a little bit and then we have this to be very nice okay so now let's go ahead and duplicate the clouds so that we have much of it to cover some of the spaces okay okay so now let's duplicate let's transform this one a bit and hit enter okay so now i think we have something better now let's go ahead and add some few things to this let's go back to our sample image folder and i have a dove here let's click and drag it over here press and hold the alt or option key then click and drag to transform your dove press enter and then you can also duplicate your dove as well hit ctrl command t right click on it and then select or click flip horizontal and let's resize it a bit and hit enter okay all right now we need to add a text to this flyer so let's go ahead make sure you select the topmost layer over here let's move all the way to the tool kits or let's move all the way to the tools and select type tool now click on anywhere around your image and let's type in easter now double click on the text layer icon click on this one to set a color and now we are going to set it to blue hit ok we don't want it this way let's now double click on the text layer icon let's move all the way to gradient overlay and now make sure you set all your things to what i have over here gradient to be c blue going to blue style to reflected angle to be 90 and scale to somewhere 73 percent and hit ok now hit ctrl command t and let's transform the text our text is way much spaced so let's double click on this and click on the character panel and set your spacing to zero hide your character panel now let's hit ctrl command t again to transform it a little bit now hit enter okay so with your move tool selected you can move it around and position it very very well okay let's add some few more text and then we go so select your type tool click on this anywhere around your image and type sunday highlight the text and go and set your font to any stylish font that you want and increase your font to 24 hit on this mark icon or double click again and set a color for that text so i think let's pick a color from here okay so let's go in here a bit so let's hit OK. I think orange color is OK for us. Or oh, it's cool for us. OK. Now let's add another one which is service SE. Double click on the text layer icon. And set the font to Sentry Got It. You might not have the same font as I have. So use a special font that is OK for you. And set it to 14 or around 12 let's set bold for the service text and now let's go to the character panel and space it out now let's move it up here and i think it's cool for us now so double click and set the color to let's say red and hit ok or you can also double click and set it to black it will be ok or red something like red or black okay so i think this is okay for us now let's also add something 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 present so let me see 50 percent is okay so let's say church aaa present 
to AAA Church. Present to so highlight or set the font size to about no, 8 is 2. So let me go to 4 and put it up here. So double click on it and set it to white. Click, hit OK and then we are through. Alright. Okay, so now to position your text at center, make sure your move tool is selected and select all of your text. So you can select the first one and press and hold the shift key to select maybe the fourth one. So with your move tool selected, let's move all the way up here and center align. So all of them will be centered. Okay. So now we are almost done. So let's hit control command T to transform this one a bit. It's way too big. And hit enter. Okay. Now let's add the date and then maybe the name of the host and some other stuff. Let's select the polygon tool. Make sure the size is set to 6. And now click and drag. You can press and hold the shift key to draw it in a very straight line form for you. Okay. Hit Ctrl Command T and transform it a bit and position it somewhere here. And now let's reduce this side and bring it down. Hit Enter and you can also double click on it and change the color. So since we don't want to have different, different, different colors, sometimes you can use um, just three or two colors to make a flyer or make a design. Don't be combining match colors don't be stressing yourself sometimes color combination is key to your design with this one i'll set it to the same color as we have for sunday which is pretty cool right click on this one again select rectangle layer this time around and let's create something small over here now set the color to white and then hide this panel okay so we have Something very interesting over here. You can hit Control Command T. Now let's go ahead and add our text. So we are going to put down the date over there. So the the date is fourth, a Sunday, Sunday first. Okay. So let's duplicate this one. Sunday 4th, so 04, and April, so Control J again, let's double click on this and type April, if, let's shorten it, APR, okay, so let me make the 4th to be bigger enough, yeah, good okay so now let's add the time which is let's say 7 p.m which is the time that they will start the program so let me change that color for that one and set it to let's say red which is pretty cool okay so control command t and transform it a bit position it here and hit okay all right so let me select this and that bring this one up hit control command t and uh, move them up okay with the four up. april up so that you create a space for the uh, 7 pm all right so we are having much something better now let me add the church logo in this case i'm not going to add any church logo i'm going to use my logo for this one so click and drag my logo over here let me resize it and place it let me see here okay so uh oh i'm moving a church now <laughs> this is interesting all right so we have something better now so this is my church flyer okay now let's go ahead and add let's see honorable host uh, let me see something like that honorable oh. Oh. Yes, we can. 
Okay. So honorable guest speaker. Alright, so let me duplicate that one too and use let me type my name in there. Let's say the honorable guest speaker is we have something better now let me change the font to let me say blue or okay let me put black there okay so um you have to add your host maybe you might have a sponsorship and some other stuff so you need to add it yourself i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave that one for you for now but the little thing i have to i need to add is some effects over here so i have some effect here which we are going to add to this to make it look very interesting so let me place it all over here hit enter and then let me duplicate it and place one two at this end and hit enter so now i have something better something interesting you can also duplicate it and add more of it okay so now this is the easter blah 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 but let me add one more thing and then we go so let's create a new layer over here we are going to apply some effect to this okay so now make sure the color you set is almost similar to this side so let me click on this side but let me bring it to closer to the white area and now let me click here and make this effect so go to your blend mode options and now set it to screen this is to uh, provide some light source over your host okay or your pasta or whatever you want to so now with your move to selected you can move that effect around either to put it behind him over here or somewhere here so don't let it affect him too much okay anywhere that you want to put but for me i want i want to have some lights so some light effect over his face i want some light so to hit over his face so um thank you for your time thank you for watching so you can use this idea to create something for your church thank you for your time thank you for everything thank you for your support stay safe goodbye